I had an incident the other day, and Lord quickly called me off my hypocrisy. Someone had to reveal something about her past, and it, it took me aback. And then I realized she is a changed person. In addition, I also have a past. In Acts 10, there are three times when the Lord presented some things to Peter, and he told him to kill and eat. And Peter was like, oh no, because they're unclean. And the Lord told him, do not call anything unclean that I have cleansed. How many times has the Lord forgiven us? And we can't accept the forgiveness. How many times has the Lord forgiven us or forgiven others? Well, we, we keep them prisoners of their past. And in some cases, what makes us really hypocrites is that the things that we're looking down on others for, their part of their past is a part of our present. We are living in filth, but we're looking down on them because of the filth that the Lord had taken them from, cleansed them, and they're truly repentant. The past, when it's in the past, it's best to leave it there. And when it comes up, it's just a testament of God's grace, where he delivered us from, and our present situation being where he's delivered us to. And not to look down on people because of their past, because we should not call anything unclean that the Lord has cleansed. Not another person or ourselves. God bless you. I'm glad that wasn't a live video because the Lord just reminded me of something else to add to this. In Luke 7, the Pharisees invited Jesus to his house. Or a Pharisee. Jesus went and a woman came and she washed his feet with her hair, with perfume, kissing his feet. And the Pharisee was like, basically, if he was a prophet, he would know what kind of woman he's dealing with. And then Jesus, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> the Lord is something else. Jesus spoke to Peter and told him a parable. And at the end, and Luke 747 is one of my favorite. Because the Lord basically pointed out that the one who is forgiven of much, loves much. And also the one who is forgiven of little, tends to love little. There are some people who love the Lord a great deal. And it's because of what the Lord has forgiven them from, or forgiven them of. They don't have time to be self-righteous, because they know that they're sinners. They know that they're unworthy. Which also reminds me of the parable. Jesus spoke about a Pharisee beating his chest, Tell me how he tithe and fast and all this stuff. But then he had a tax collector. Wouldn't even look up in the sky. Because he didn't feel worthy. And Jesus spoke about the tax collector and his humility. So when you know of someone with a past that may not be quite as squeaky clean as yours, or so you think, you may want to think twice. Because in some cases, that person loves the Lord more than you do because the one who has been forgiven of much loves much. I know the enemy likes to bring up our sins to condemn us, but there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. And there's more to Romans 8 1 than that, but there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Just ensure that you're walking after the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, as opposed to your flesh. But it's so easy to become a hypocrite because we've never been through things like other people. And in some cases, we have been through things. But because we have been forgiven, we've been cleansed. We sometimes find it hard to believe that the Lord has also cleansed others. 
So please, do not be like the Pharisee because you feel as if you're holy. You do all these things that you think are pleasing to the Lord as opposed to approaching Him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. One in humility, knowing that you did things that He could have killed you and sent you to hell for, but instead He showed you mercy. So do not be like the unmerciful servant who was forgiven but couldn't forgive another. The Lord, He still humbles the proud, but He exalts the humble. Don't forget where you came from. In some cases, if you haven't done a whole lot of quote unquote dirt in your life, it could happen to you too. And you may need for the Lord to deliver you. <laughs> to deliver you.